it's super cloudy. I can't get a picture of the sun. I'm not going to be able to do any um, astronomy tonight. So we're going to do the terrestrial observation shootout between the Dwarf Labs Dwarf 2 and the ZWO Seastar S50. And basically I'm looking at something over there on the other side of the lake. You can see conditions are hazy and cloudy, so they're not going to get the best image quality, but I'll put both images from both of these devices up so you can compare the quality yourself. Key takeaways are that the Dwarf Labs telescope has a much wider field of view, whereas the C-Star is zoomed in quite a bit more. The C-Star has a vertical aspect ratio for terrestrial use, um, and this guy here has a horizontal aspect ratio. So all in all, I like the fact that the um, Dwarf Labs has a wide angle lens in addition to the telephoto lens. So you can look in the wide angle lens, select what you want to point at, it'll automatically point the telephoto lens there, assuming you've calibrated the two lenses to correctly. With the Sea Star, you've just got to move around your little view through a drinking straw until you find what you want to look at. So to get images off of the Dwarf 2, you can either connect a USB 2 cable and it will show up as an MTP drive, like an Android phone. And to make that work, you have to turn on MTP mode in the settings. Or you can pull the micro SD card out, put that in a micro SD card reader, and just read files directly off the file system. The dwarf files are named nicely with the date and time as part of the file name. The files from the ZWOC star have kind of random numbers and letters, which I'm sure mean something, um, but they do not appear to be linked to the date and time. So to get them off the ZWEC star, um, it doesn't actually save AVI and JPEG files on the Arnboard file system there, so it's on your phone. As soon as it takes the picture or video, it transfers it to your phone, and you have to upload it from your phone to wherever you want to use it. Um, now, I believe in the future there's going to be an advanced setting for the C-Star where you'll be able to save raw files to the local file system when you're doing astrophotography imaging. So the images from the ZWO are HD resolution and their sensor can do better than that. So it looks like they have binning turned on by default on their sensor and I could not find any way to turn that off. Um, so you basically get your um, 1080 by 1920 images and videos on this guy. Now with the Dwarf, that is also the default image size, but they have in the settings a setting where you can turn the binning off, so it goes one by one binning, and you get the full 4K resolution on these Dwarf images and um, screenshots. Now I'm encoding this into an HD video, so you're not really going to be able to see that, but you, know, you do get the full 3840 by 2160 pixels with the Dwarf raw images. So currently the dwarf is making up for its larger field of view by also taking a lot more pixels. So if I zoom the dwarf in to about the same size as the ZWO, you can see these images look pretty similar. The color on the ZWO looks a little bit better, um, but if you look at the background, there's an awful lot of blurring and smearing in the background, whereas in the dwarf image, you can see a little bit more of the background. Now the encoding bitrate on the dwarf video is about three times higher than in the ZWO video, but on the other hand it also has four times as many pixels. So the bitrate per pixel is very similar on these two videos.